Welcome back. Today on the North American Journeyman, we have the first leg of the final of the Dominican League and the first leg of the semifinal of the Caribbean Cup. It's the business end of the season. Can we cope with the pressure? Also, there's a serious injury to one of our players. All right, this game's against Seabow. Serious injury, Becerra. The number 10, he's been playing so much better since we put him over here. Changed the formation due to the injury to Mina. But he's out for two months, so he's gone. Torn pec. Trying to put up 300 pounds on the bench press in the gym, and he's gone. So we've got some players that can fill in. Atardo's going to fill that position. That's fine. Zamudio can move over if he needs to. And Cords, unregistered, but he can play in the Caribbean Cup as can Pines, who's coming back from his injury. So we're, we're looking okay. But we'll see. We're touted as comfortable favorites. I'm going Valencia and a bullish off at the partnership on the left. I'm playing Turchi, even though he hates big matches. Thing is, I don't know if he considers this to be a big match or not. I have no idea. It's the Dominican League final. Is that a big match? Is it based on their level or is it just like a benchmark within the game? I don't know. But we'll play Seabow. We'll go for it. Everyone's, look at this, hundreds across the board, minus Natalucci, whose uh, fitness isn't quite there. But yeah, with the two weeks rest prior to this game, means they're probably in the same boat. But this is the home leg. We played home leg first, which is dumb in my opinion, but especially since we should be favorites. This is a huge match. And also at the end, it'd be nice to lift the cup if you do at home. So they stole our formation from last year. They've been trying it out. We struggled against them early in the season. They beat us, smacked us around the first time we played them this year. And then we lost a 4-3 to them. But since then, I think we've beat them the last three times. As we walk out of the Harry Potter wall, I'm in my get up, which I've just been playing straight FM all day today. So that's why all these episodes are me looking the same. I've just been sitting down, hitting record, crushing it, getting through this season. It's down to Montenegro and it's a goal, early goal for Delphine's Day de Este. Del Este. Sorry, I need to work on my Spanish grammar or just reading comprehension. Not even reading comprehension, just reading. Delphine's Del Este. How many times have I said it? Boat right, we're still looking at stealing that guy in the end of the season. They're driving in here. The cross to Caceres. It's off the post. Oh, also they have two of our players from last year. One from this year. Uh, Williamson Cordoba. We decided to get rid of him because his physicals were dropping off. He's 33 and he was on 30K a year for us, which is real high. And the striker who scored the winning goal in the final last year and had a tear of a season. He's still playing good for them, but not scoring as many goals. Haler Gomez. He obviously wasn't able to fit in with us after we picked up Barnett and we're playing Mina up top with the backup. And even that other old Jamaican guy that we had for a little bit, he even took Haler Gomez's spot. But yeah, we sold both of those players to Chiba to get their wages off the bill so we could bring in some better players. And let's see if we prove to be a smart decision. Adolfo Martinez grabs a second goal. For the Dolphins of the East. Off the corner. Good stuff. This guy is just getting better and better. This American. Adolfo Martinez. Who doesn't speak Spanish. But his name's Adolfo Martinez. Oh, FM things. And we're off to a good start. It's the final. First leg.
The only thing that's not going in our direction as of right now, lately, well, since we've been here basically, is finances. We're like $400,000 in debt. And none of these competitions pay any money. Including, I think, the Caribbean Cup. The only time we would make money, I think, like a decent chunk, chunk of money, would be if we get to the Champions Cup and play an away game to, like, you know, whoever has a big stadium. Atlanta probably be the most money. I think you split revenue for that competition. I think, maybe. Um, I'm pleased. That's pretty good half. I mean, we're not creating a ton, but we're limiting their chances. That's what I like to see. We got to watch out for... I mean, Gomez is okay. Cordoba's not playing very good. We got to watch out for him in the air, though, because he's pretty good. Turchi's playing a 6.8, which is good for him, considering he doesn't like big matches. Barnett tries to not a header on, but there's nobody ahead of him. Laverne, he was our former player as well last season in the middle of the park. Boatwright will probably be our player next year. Gomez turns. Tackles coming in, but they're not getting there. The shot from Jean-Louis Martinez, who I've been trying to sign, goes in. And they pull one back. It's 2-1. to one. Good little run here from Haler. Martinez finds space. Romero doesn't look too bothered. You know, throws his arm in frustration. Yeah, it's kind of on you. Natalucci's not playing too good. Maybe we'll swap him out. Bulashaw on a yellow. Come on, guys. This is the home leg. Haler Gomez on a 7.1. All right, Tardo is not doing great, and he's nervous, so we will try. Wait, what? Mikel Reyes it wants me to change him out for Mikel Reyes. Zamudio can play this position. I think I'm going to bring on, big call here, John Davis Gonzalez. Played really good last game. He's still learning the position. Crossed in. Can we win this header? We do. Goes down to Bulashov. Can he work the ball in? It's Barnett. That's a goal. It's got to be. Barnett doesn't miss those. 3-1. Beautiful. In off the post. Meant to do it. Montenegro. Good header. A Bulashov. Really good pass. Barnett. He's so good with those little turns. He's wanted by somebody in the MLS, I think Colorado. Still offers just never come in. Ooh, Montenegro looks like he picked up a little knop. knock. Tight calf, I don't like that. We I can't lose him. We got to bring in Ibarra. We'll swap these two. Martinez is a little bit more offensive. He's got a little bit better left foot. Dang, that's not great. Not who I wanted to bring in, but it's okay. I just hope he's fit for the semifinal, the Caribbean Cup. Three one's good. Four to one would be great. Ask and you shall receive. No, header. Turchi. Barnett. Interesting. Can we keep the pressure on here? Oh, Bergaglio also played for us last season. God, they literally just tried to copy us. Our formation, most of the players that we play, Haler Gomez, Garcia. Oh, the tackle was almost there. From John David Garcia. Oh, John Garcia also played for us last season. They're just It's just us from this season versus us from last season. I forgot John Garcia we sold to Cibao as well. Anytime we want to get a player off the wage bill, we just sell them to Sebo. Sell for a zero transfer fee just to get the wages gone. 3 2, though. Not as good. Slayton's for his first bad game. Jimmy Slayton. Yeah, 
Any late chances here? Maybe he bar on the midfield, dribbling. He's not a good dribbler or passer of the ball, apparently. But Zamudo can slip. He could have slipped Barnett in, but he didn't. Abulashov cuts inside. No. Goes back to Ibarra. Play it to the right here. Thompson finds Abulashov. He's on. It's 4-2. Compared to last year's final, which was a KG 1-0 two-legged affair, this is heart-pounding stuff. In the 94th minute, really good pass from Thompson. All right, we'll see how onside it was. It was very onside. That's the answer. 4-2. They're a tough team. I mean, they've got good players, obviously. Boatwright's the one I want to buy, but he's struggling. Uh, well done. Good win, especially a Bulashov. Good improvement, and especially Adolfo Martinez. Brian Thompson did good. Barnett did okay. Natalucci struggled, and so did Slayton, but I still think we stick with Slayton for the rest of the year. He was the man. All right. Next up is Pantoja. In four days' time, they haven't played a game since they got knocked out in the semifinal, so... They're probably very well rested. Hopefully they've lost a little bit of match sharpness, but probably not very much. We're going to be a little bit more tired than them. It's the home leg. It's the Caribbean Cup semifinal. We'll be right back. All right, we'll just come back here because Portmore is playing Dunbeholden in the other semifinal, the two Jamaican teams. They're in the beginning of their season, I believe. Yeah, they just played their first game of the league. We can see that Mount Pleasant's the big boys. Looks like Cavaliers made a bit of a jump in the offseason. And then you've got Harborview, and Portmore has actually dropped down a little bit. And Dunbold's the fifth best team now in Jamaica. And they play to a 4 nil nil draw. I'd like to see some injuries and red cards under that scoreline, but that's okay. A couple little ticks here, and we are on to our semifinal, the Dominican side of the bracket. Delphines del Este, Pantoja. Ronaldo, they have Ronaldo on their team. This guy is really good. I've been trying to sign him forever. He doesn't want to come here. But his contract runs out. I think after that, we might try and go in for him for next season. But he's, he's really good. He's always given us trouble. Uh, okay, so we can bring in a bunch of people. Pines isn't really ready to go. Sarah's injured. Cords can come in. Even Miller can come in. Cords is actually going to start this one. Tardo's been good, but I've been waiting for Cords. I'm going to play Cords. Romero and Turchi, they're doing pretty good. I'm nervous about Turchi because of his big matches thing, but honestly, we're Fully well rested. I don't really need to make any changes from the last game. Might lose Natalucci on a yellow, but I think that's just what we go for. Montenegro and Martinez are kind of bossing it in the midfield, so let's see what Cords can do. He actually needs no, that's Rich Lopez. It's a goalkeeper, young goalkeeper. American that showed up in the scouting report. Pick up where you left off last time. Except for you, Slayton. You need to play better. I'll point a finger. I rarely get a finger out, but this one's very important. It's a night game. It's the Caribbean Cup semifinal. If it's what we've all came here for, if we win this two-legged tie, we qualify for the Champions Cup. Or we could win maybe actual money for the club that desperately needs it. It's against our rivals, Pantoa. We don't have... Our only former player on this team is Jeremy Baez, who we played a little bit. I'm not sure about anybody else. They don't really buy our players. That's more of a Seabell thing. But we've drawn a lot of games with them. In the last game we played, we I think we won 3-1, to one, but it was a close game. So it's always KG against Pantoa. Let's see what we can do. 
Early attacking corner here. Valencia. Turchi doesn't want to jump for it. Martinez. A bullish shot rips a shot. He likes to do that from outside the box, even though he's not good at it. There we go. We're piling the pressure on. Ronaldo can only head it to Natalucci. Romero, we're playing pretty cautious. Kind of a little passing game here. Dominate possession. Thompson, can he slip anybody through? Tries to get cords. Crosses in. It's a penalty. Penalty's awarded. Baez, the inside man, tugging on a little jersey. Trying to keep Barnett out. Valencia's taking this penalty. Why? Oh, I guess I don't have Becerra in. I forgot. I didn't know who my penalty taker was. Because it was Mina, and it was Becerra. Both those guys are injured. Instead, it's our left back, who didn't look confident, but he looked more confident than their goalkeeper. We're up 1-0. Off to... That looks like a pretty good start. They haven't gotten a shot on target yet, or a shot in general. They like to work the short corner, which is Vargas. Good save from Slayton. I've heard short corner is OP in FM24. I haven't ran it myself yet, but they do seem to create a lot. I mean, we seem confused by this. Thompson doesn't look like he knows what to do. That was a great tackle. That wasn't a penalty. Can we break out now? A Bulashov. Can he get across into Barnett? No, loses it to Modesta. Iffy, iffy tackle, boys. Ronaldo Vasquez on a 6.5 for them. You like to see that. That's good stuff. Valencia. Into Martinez. Back to Valencia. Montenegro, what can he work in? We got a bunch of people in the box. We need to spread them out a little bit. Work our way back in. Romero over the top. Montenegro, is he on side? It doesn't matter. It is behind for a goal kick, but it was not a great finish. From the Mazzola. Pantoja building out of the back. A Bulashov with a nice steal driving down the left. That 15 dribbling. It's another penalty. Ortega this time. They just can't handle Barnett. They're all over him. Valencia didn't look confident last time. Can he score two for two? Will he go to the same side? He does. It's lower this time. It's a better penalty. And now Valencia, the left back, has two goals off two penalties. Their coach is just, he's, he can't believe it. What are you, those aren't penalties. I don't think there was VAR in Dominican. Or this is the Caribbean Cup. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, our XG is probably inflated because of the penalties, but they haven't done anything. A couple guys on 6.7s, but most everybody's playing pretty good. I'll take that first half. Things are going well, but we can actually do better than that. Weren't that bad. Keep going. Good job earning penalties, Barnett. He's usually the goal scorer. This time he's being the contributor just with his imposing presence. Schenfeld plays Ronaldo Vasquez. They cross it in. Diaz can turn. Pinto's there. Ends up at the feet of Vargas, and they pull one back within five minutes of the second half. Pinto might have been my former player. I think we owned Pinto at one time. Diaz, smart pass. Good tackle from Valencia, but... Turchi doesn't do too great on that one. That might be signs of things to come for big matches for Turchi. We have other center backs, but 
None that are real great. I'd say that's probably our weakest position. Abulashov's in space. Oh, he's got Barnett. Ooh. I mean, he was offside, but that was... I'm surprised he didn't trip over his own feet and fall on his face after that one. He looked just whiffed that. Turchie's on a 6.5. Thompson's not doing too good either. Cagey. Every game with Pantoja is just... There's just nervous energy all around. Good tackle from Natalucci. Steals it off Ronaldo. All right, let's see what we can build here. Good ball to Cords. Can he play him through? He should. There's people on side. He doesn't, though, but Natalucci's in. Cross it. Oh, it's off the bar. I don't know how Montenegro didn't finish that one. I thought for sure that was going to be a goal. Center midfielders aren't playing great. I like the idea of work the ball in the box. We don't always have that on. Barnett's actually on a 6.5. And Turchi is kind of annoying me. He's nervous. We'll play Coronado. I guess. I mean... Thompson. When Thompson gets iffy, he gets real iffy. Bring on Gonzalez. Natalucci's actually playing really good. Yeah, we're going to bring on Gonzalez. For Thompson. We can make a bunch of subs. I usually don't like to. It's like I've adjusted to the three sub rule in the league. That I'm good with just three subs at this point. It'll be nice to be to have five, though, when we move to different leagues. I mean, it's just... Bulashov's tired. Zamudio can come on. He's going to. For Zamudio, goalkeeper's nervous. Maybe a Tardo. For Cords. Cords has played okay. He could play better. He's composed and he's well fit, so we'll give Atardo the chance up top. And maybe Pines. Maybe I should have brought Pines on instead of Coronado. He's just not fit at all. Should you give Chiotti the last minutes? We'll give we'll bring Chiotti on like late, late. 85 minute or so. I mean they haven't produced much. Our XG is inflated because of the penalties. It's tough to bring Barnett off. Kiotti, though. He pops up with a goal every now and again. I can't praise him. I can't encourage him because it's only two to one. So we just have to watch the time run out. Will there be one last highlight? It doesn't look like it. We score two penalties. They grab a goal from open play. KG. That's that's all I have to say. It's just KG. We didn't play that great, but we got the result. Turchi, I don't think you're starting. Next game. We got a lead, but we go to their place next. So next episode, a lot, a lot is going to be determined. Will we win the league? We're up 4-2 on Seabow. It's away. It's in two days, three days. And then Pantoja away to see if we can make, qualify for the Champions Cup, and make the final of the Caribbean Cup. Get that first little tick. Let's go. Thanks for joining once again. We're cruising right along here. Hope you, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Join the save. Leave a like, please. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and you've watched this far. Because we're going to keep rocking and rolling with the North American Journeyman for a little while yet. Adios. From Dominicana. See you next time.